Hey guys and gals, what's going on? It's your mother and welcome to Final Fantasy X, Part 16. Where we last left off, we went through a bunch of plot stuff, uh, a bunch of Lulu stuff, a lot of Chapu stuff. Yuna might be marrying Seymour, and yeah, a bunch of different things happened. A lot of beautiful CGI. You, you gotta go watch the last part to see that at all. I, I'm clearly not doing it justice with my recap here. But, let's get to the contents of this part. Where we go from Guadalajara to the Thunder Plains. Also, the Malasini Woods. Goddamn, I don't think I pronounced that right at all. I'm gonna butcher all these pronunciations throughout this whole game. Oh no, we're here. How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. Ah! I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. Move across the Thunder Plains. L Lightning can strike Titus on the on the Guadaf Thunder Plains. Lightning! Holy shit! Titus just survived a lightning strike. Holy shit! Lightning can strike anytime, so keep moving. Lightning rod towers absorb nearby lightning. Seek shelter under them. Okay. Okay. When there are no towers nearby, you can dodge lightning by pressing X. Oh my god! Fucking Titus is so skilled he can dodge fucking lightning? What the fuck? This boy's Jesus! Good luck on your journey. Thanks. Fuck you, Hob God! Basically, press X to dodge uh, lightning. But no, you can't dodge these motherfuckers. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'd like to take the time to say, look, a strange stone. Basically, that strange. Ah, fuck me. That strange stone basically means, well, it's implying that um, if you dodge lightning 50 times consistently, straight, not getting hit at all by timing it just right, no random encounters. Dodge lightning 50 times straight. You can unlock Lulu's Celestial Weapon, and Celestial Weapons are the, basically the ultimate weapons for the characters in this game. Just once you know that, you can only get that in the Thunder Plains area, which is the area we're currently in. Just thought I should give you guys that tip. Um, I recommend you guys do it when you have the ability of no encounters that you can put on a uh, character's equipment or and or armor. Which you do that with all the crafting and the different things like that with Riku. So, yeah, keep that in mind, and you should be pretty damn good. Um, also, Riku's scared of lightning, which is very funny. Ha ha ha, Tara Strong, you're funny. All right, all right, let's move on. Back with the plot. Good day. Hi there. Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? Yep, no wedding. Just kidding. So, here's the basic idea. Do I act like a cunt to these people and just lie to them and be like, Yo, dog, um, no wedding. Get Rex group. Ha ha. Fuck you. Or, uh, or to give them hope. Try to just give them a little bit of hope that, yeah, this wedding thing could be happening. Eh, yeah, I mean, it's not a really, again, the game gives you choices like this, but they're not really big. It's just, the only difference is, like, a line of dialogue later on or whatever, whatever have you. So, but the truth is, just kidding, we gotta have, uh, Titus not lying, because Yuna does plan to wed Seymour as it currently stands. It will not do to joke about a thing like that. I can joke about whatever I want! Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna. How wonderful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, how, how wonderful. I'm... Oh, please, go ahead. Oh, oh, please go ahead? Thank you, I will. Oh, God, I gotta get that thought out of my head. Hey everyone, welcome to the Random Encounter Show! 
In this episode, we're fighting off against a whole new enemy. That's right, that's a new enemy type right there. And if that's the case, we shall actually show off a random encounter for once. Oh boy. First, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna play the random encounter like normal. So I'm just gonna pull out Riku and we're gonna start robbing these bastards. Robbing. That's the Lunar Curtain. That sounds cool. Get fucked. All right, all right, all right. But if we can get fucked, you're about to get fucked by Orange Boy. Can we show off what he does? No, okay, okay. No, we are not gonna show off what that boy does. We're gonna bring out our boy Kamari though, and he's gonna use his skill Lancet. If you guys remember, Lancet allows Kamari to basically, basically just fucking uh, absorb enemies' health and HP and MP. But there is a chance against certain enemies that he can learn a brand new overdrive from them. So let's see if we can get it off this guy. No, oh uh, no, no, I guess this guy, what is this guy? Is he special? No idea at this point, no idea. He looks cool though, so I guess that's worth having the video alone right there. I don't know, he, 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 lo he looks nice though. Very nice. I'm gonna fuck him up with Titus though. Get fucked. Oh, I see, I see. Larva's magic increase. Okay, this is a larva. Okay, thank you, game. I totally knew that. Basically, this guy regenerates and gets stronger with each time he's struck by lightning. Basically, that guy right there, yellow man right there, he's, that man is helping out that guy. And we don't want him to help out that guy. That would be a very naughty move to pull. So we're going to use our black mage Lulu over here and spray him some water. Uh, I feel like... It, I still like, are you thirsty better, Lulu? That's just my preference, though. But, you know, nothing can beat the classic, are you thirsty? And now from there, we just fuck him up. With good old Orin boy. And you know what, we're gonna use Tita too, because we have the Brotherhood. All right, this is gonna help out. And you can also heal himself, look at that. And he, and he can also, you know, increase his own magic. Kind of gay, kind of gay, but we can finish him off with Lulu really easily. Or not, or finish this motherfucker off. No time to waste. Let's go. You damn right, or no time to waste. Let's get rolling. And that's been your random encounter. I'll see you in a bit. And welcome back to the plot. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! That was a close one. <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. Whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? Uh. Uh. Oh, please, just a few Fuck. minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. I'm too young to die. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner, yes. Just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. Well, I guess I'm a big old softy and we went in here. Jeez. Riku's a really afraid of lightning, eh? I don't blame her. Final Fantasy 13 was not the best Final Fantasy trilogy. It's also the. It's also the. It's also the only Final Fantasy trilogy. But still, not a very good one. 
I mean, it's, I mean, it's got its fans, but I'm, um, I'm very mixed on it. But you know what? Let's not get into Final Fantasy 13 in this video. No fucking way. <laughs> I ain't getting them comments. All right, let's talk to everyone. And you know, they seem to be a little bit in distress. We should check up on her too. Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Ah, oh, she's trying to keep her Albed heritage a secret because, you know, and it's not like everyone in the party knows but freaking Waka. Jeez, guys. But jeez, she's a big scaredy cat. You know, lightning can be. Sunder is also a very effective spell, girl. I'm, I'm just saying. It's like easily like my second favorite spell in this game. Well, I mean, in terms of the four elements, you know. It's also really good in Kingdom Hearts. You just gotta really. You had one a bad experience. Does not mean you can't get over it and use it to use that spell to your best of ability. One day we'll teach you magic, Riku. Mark my words. We'll, we will teach you magic. Rin, what's up, buddy? How goes your study of our language? Eh, okay. That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. Ooh, and now bed primer. H to N. I wonder. Would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Yeah, that's him. Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orin! I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Very, very interesting there. Very interesting conversation. So Rin and Orn knew each other, and Rin helped out Orn before. I'm gonna assume the next morning Orn was gone on over to Xanarkind, so... Yeah. That's neat, I guess. We're getting a little bit of a timeline of the past. Lulu, what's up? Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? Perhaps. I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Who knows? We'll find out. Maester Seymour and his entourage passed by a while ago. And the Maester is to be married soon? Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling everyone. Oh, they are, are they? Hashtag peer pressure! Welcome to Rin's. Oh shit! Rin, we need some items! It just so happens you're the only guy I know that sells me good items. Also, let's, I don't know, let's get a world map. I don't fucking know. Uh, Kamari, man, what's going on with you? You not resting. Go away. Oh, okay. What, you don't want to talk right now? I understand. Or. <laughs> it's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. I suppose. I mean, when you fucking, uh, were a summoner for Braska, he was, like, fucking, like, in his 20s. You, Jekt and Brack, you, Jekt and Braska were, in your, were, like, in your 20s, maybe higher up 20s, but still, but still. You guys were relatively still young. But Yuna's only 17, so I, I guess it makes sense. And you're, you're, like, fucking 30-something, my guy. So, like, yeah, I can see you. I can see you. You got fucking grades, man. 
Welcome. No, no, I, I don't want to talk to you, Rin. Rin, fuck you, man. I want to grab your book. Original copy of a history of the Summoner's Plane. All right, I'll read this to you guys. Long ago, fiends known as Quactars roamed the Di Jose con con continent free. They ran rampant, ravaging fiends and tormenting travelers. The Lord Gandalf. Gandalf? Gand oh man, I was really close to a different name there. Appeared. A man later. Appeared. A man later to become High Summoner. He scored the continent for the Quactars. I think, I swear I'm butchering the pronunciation. And drove them to the plains. Once he gathered the Quactars together, Lord Gandalf linked the sign of the square. Oh! Oh, that's basically what I was talking about! Oh, that's how you get you Lulu Celestial Weapon! I was already talking about that game! What the fuck, Pally? What's going on, Clerk Lady? I uh, got any weapons we can buy? Awful. Awful. Already have that. Did I mention that's awful? Awful falafel. Gosh, you guys suck. Mmm. I suppose a yellow shield would help us out for now. That's helpful. No, we're not giving her a yellow ring. We're keeping her with the echo ring. Uh. I'll do this shit off screen. See you guys in a bit. With our stats fully recharged, and we've done everything we can in terms of talking to people in here and reading different things, let's go check on Yuna. Nothing really. I I just uh, um. Uh, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that just uh, called Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. Yeah. I'm sorry. Think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready. So hold your chocobos till then. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right, let's see, view all the new character interactions. Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. I know. Then let's just go on with the journey, huh? Look, I still don't like the idea of her marrying Seymour. We're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? Sounds good. Kamari, oh, you don't want to talk right now? Understandable, I guess. Or She's not going to move unless we do something. Okay then. Yuna. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? Jeez, Yuna, you're acting all emo now. Wonder what ha what I wonder what's on that fear. I <laughs> I wonder if it's n really to take care of his son, eh? Huh? Maybe it's more Tita's direction? I don't know. It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. 
All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? He's not here. Don't get shocked. Wonder why that guy just took our picture, eh? Jeez, Riku, like, Orin wasn't even around. Let's look at the, he was, like, outside when you were fucking saying all that shit, dude. Orin doesn't give a fuck. He's not the sympathetic type like that. He's not gonna be like, yo, man, who the fuck? Yo, man, okay, you're scared of lightning fire. We can stay here for, like, 48 hours. No, Orin's gonna be like, let's get the fuck moving, boys. You don't understand Orn. Orn understands you. He just he just doesn't care. Yellow shield. I just bought one. Oh. All right. Looks like we got a longer journey ahead. So I'll see you by the end of it. Or I can see you in the very first random encounter of it. Holy shit! This guy is fucking huge, man. Okay, we're gonna fuck him up to the best of our ability, I guess. Fuck, man. Dark attack him, Waka. Okay, we're gonna power break him with Orn. Oh my god, this is fucking huge! Look at him! Rip! Oh shit, okay, god damn! Little bit passive aggressive, or I can see that, I can fucking see that. This is why we're gonna use fire on the boy! Get fucked! Oh damn, alright, I expected that to do a little. I, I was hoping that would do a little bit more. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Kamari, let's fuck him up! Get fucked! Boy, oh fuck, okay then. Uh, not helpful, not very helpful, okay. Uh, let's fuck him up, boys! Uh, our main man, Titus. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick so I can get haste on Yuna by using Titus, so, uh, yeah, uh, let's switch him out for fucking Orn and do a lot of damage. Do some damage. Uh, God damn it, you know, I really just want to go to Titus so I can put haste on you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Basically, he's a big guy, but he's pretty much not immune to anything, so just fuck him up to the best of your ability, pretty much. That's my way of viewing it. All right, let's summon Almighty Verifur. Maybe the maybe this summoning you can go faster because she has haste on. Ha, uh, who knows, who knows. Emo Yuna. Stop being emo Yuna, we love you. Stop it. Stop it. Whatever. Verfur, fuck him up. Fuck this guy up. Please. Water up, bitch, let's fight. Didn't stand a fucking chance against Verfur. Verfur or. Alright, that's your random encounter with that guy, see you in a bit. I have to apologize real quick, uh, I discovered that, um, the, he, the Iron Giant guy we just fought, he is resistant to some things. Um, if you use fire magic on him, it does moderate damage. If you use, uh, water damage, water magic on him, it's his weakness. Water is, in fact, his weakness. He's just like every other en enemy in this area. If you use, um, Sunder on him, it does not heal him like the other enemies, but it does the least amount of magical damage. So do keep that in mind when equipping weapons or, um, fucking using spells as Lulu. Keep that in mind. Sorry about that. About getting that wrong earlier. And welcome back to the plot. Everyone. Wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here. Let's go! I have to say it now. Over there.
Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. <gasps> but, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh... Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow, some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We Guardians will wait until they're done and plan our next move. Understood? Orn, the man with the plan. All right, then. That cutscene has a lot to unload. So Yuna has decided to marry Seymour after all. That's a, that's a thing. Um, she doesn't seem to be too enthusiastic about it, though. Um, I wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with that Jiskel sphere that she isn't letting anyone see. Wonder what that sphere had to say, eh? And, uh, some. Here's the thing. I, here's the thing, right? Summoners c can hold all their personal things to themselves. Like, she, does, she or he does not have to tell anyone else anything or do anything for them as long as they're willing to face sin th then they're allowed to do whatever they want then I, they're allowed to handle their own personal affairs which means no one including guardians can get involved in that which is why i which kind of sounds a little bleh when you put it like that but it's understandable it's their right it's like it's like a person has a right to all their personal things but like what if it's like it's like yeah your friend is doing something if they're right they could do whatever they want but you as their friend ha have to tell them like hey uh slow the fuck down man uh you might be making the wrong move here or you're really really being cryptic here we should really talk this out you know and i that's why i feel like i understand tia's perspective here i'm not saying it's not necessarily right and i'm not saying yuda is necessarily right what I'm saying is, they're both mixed here. They, they're both a mixed bag. You got your trail mix over here. 
they bring up they both have good points um like yuna can totally marry seymour if she wants but titus is like yeah the guy is kind of sketchy she's like but she's like it's good for yevon and all that different stuff but the the shady just goes fear and she doesn't want anyone to see it is a complicated situation and a situation i find to be very interesting and like Tina's, Titus's little monologue there, um, well, he didn't understand it. Understand it. she's privileged. Is her right to do that? Like, so no one can stop her. No one can try to talk her out of it. Or it says it's fine. He feels like he doesn't belong there because, in Zanarkin, that's not the way. Um, Zanarkin is like our modern day society, where basically, hey. Yo, we could talk you out of this. Like, no one is, like, higher up or anything like that. I, f I assume, in hierarchy, um, just to go over this, it'd be, like, uh, ma Master, Summoner, Maester Seymour, High Summoner, uh, unless they're the same thing, whatever. Summoner, Guardian, everyone else. And that's how the hierarchy works. So, yeah, they all may be friends. But Yuna has has the right to like not have anyone change her mind or not listen to anyone, and no one can really make a decision for her. You know, I mean, it's not as brutal as I'm making it sound, but I understand where Titus is coming from, where he comes from a land of Zen or Kin, where everything's all modern and everything like that. It's interesting to think about, really. And I did not expect to go on a tangent for this long. Sorry, uh, I think I did a bit. We are back. Yeah, what's up, Orn? You're worried about Yuna. <sighs> of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be... In exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Well, thank you for the character study, character analysis on Yuna Orm. That was very, very interesting, and I like it. I like that a lot. Good, good job. You, you basically said everything I said earlier, but better. Slow pokes. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go.
Welcome to Malithina Woods, Temple of Yevon, Malithina. We're gonna have to get there though, and we'll be getting there in the next part of Final Fantasy X. Actually, we will we probably, nah, doubt it. But hey, we'll be getting somewhere in the next part of Final Fantasy X. And we just got through the Thunder Plane, so that's pretty dope in my opinion. And we got a bunch of cool character stuff with Riku being scared of lightning, and the whole Yuna marriage thing, and a whole bunch of different interesting things in like ore. And it was a very interesting part overall, and I enjoyed this one quite a bit. Now, with no part 15, but part 16, this one right here, pretty damn good in my opinion. With that said, though, I hope you guys and gals and guys and gals enjoyed this part as much as I did. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for notifications to be notified when the next part of Final Fantasy X comes up, or Kingdom Hearts or Channel Memories, or whatever Kingdom Hearts I'm playing at this time, or whenever I live stream. Uh, click the cards on screen in order to check out more content you may enjoy from me. And uh, click the link in the description below to follow me on Twitter, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Mike Trout.